Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we are putting the foundation coating on. We're going to work on the foundation drains. We're going to form up for the sidewalk and dig the footings for the columns. So that's what this video is going to consist of. So appreciate you watching and just stay tuned. So this is what we're using on the foundation. We're just using a half inch nap rag roller, four inch rag roller. And it rolls it on pretty good. And we've already started as you can see. So we just gotta finish this. Okay, we got all the foundation coating completed. Laying out for the post footings so that X represents the corner. So the post footings are going to be 24 by 24, 8 inches deep. And you can see there's four of them across this end. So we just have to dig 8 inches deep. Okay, that's one of them, Doug. One footing. One blister. There's number four. This one had a bit of a rock issue. Had that rock and that monster in there. Oh, we got them out of there. We're gonna have to put some gravel down here because it's so deep. But it's good to go. Okay, we're still waiting on concrete for this section. It's about a little over a half yard. So I went ahead and started forming up this front porch area that has the columns in it. And as you can see, I'm gonna do half of it at a time. We just gotta bring some more gravel in. All right, we got two yards on the ground. Just waiting on it to set up. Okay, this is a pro tip I'd like to share on string pulling. So basically, you just make a loop, wind it about five or six times, pull it over your pin, pull as hard as you can on this side, pull the slack out, and then pull this back on itself. And if this has a tendency to want to slip, just put a loop and like a half hitch or whatever that's called to keep that from unwinding. And then when you want to release it, trying to get this formed up for the pour tomorrow. We got about two yards left to pour. Got a little bit of a weather issue. It's supposed to rain all day, so we're gonna to try to get it ready.
make a tool for this. It's got duct tape on it. This is what you do when you don't have the tool. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the concrete part of the project. So if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps me out. Appreciate you watching, and until next time, take care, God bless, and I'll see you later.